Well, hello and welcome to Baking with Carol. And today we are going to be doing mince pies. So, without further ado, let's crack on. Oh, hello. This has been a disaster. My cup of tea has vanished. Well, here we are again with another Baking with Carol. You have to excuse me, but I'm not very well today, hence why I'm not dressed. But today I promised that I would do mince pies, as some did ask if I could do some. And I'm do mine in short crust pastry. You can do puff pastry or flaky pastry, whichever you want to use. You need eight ounces altogether. You need your mincemeat, two sizes of cutters, one for the bottoms which you want slightly larger and one for the smaller ones which are your tops so we'll do the pastry now okay oh before i do sorry don't forget to preheat your oven it needs to be between gas marks seven and eight it's about 220 to 230 degrees okay you can make your own but i'm using a, a sheet of pastry that's already rolled rolled out I would just be rolling it out a little bit thinner because you don't need thick pastry. From eight ounces of pastry, you can make roughly about 20 mince pies. Right, oh, I think we'll be okay there. So to do your bottoms, you need a, a larger cutter. And then for the tops, you need a smaller cutter. So we're gonna do the bottoms first. <laughs> very gently put them into your tin try not to overhandle them you know, just drop them in gently now we need to put the filling in. Keep your trimmings from where you're cutting out because you can roll them out again. Doesn't matter what sort of mincemeat you use. This is one from Aldi where I shop. But you can get mincemeat anywhere. And you can even get it laced with brandy or rum, sherry, whatever. If you want a little bit more of a bite in your mince pies. But I like to just use all of them mincemeat. Don't be tempted to overfill them. I'm going to use two spoons one with the mixture on and the back of the other teaspoon to just pop it into the pastry case. Continue doing this until you build them all. And they're easy enough to make your own mince pies. It's just that it's so convenient these days for people to just go out and buy some. You're losing the art of actually making something yourself actually in well in my opinion tastes better tell me a little bit more in that one now before we put the tops on you want to seal the edges or you're going to use you can either use an egg beaten up or you can use milk it's entirely up to you i wish use a little bit of beaten egg just around the edge you don't need too much just enough just to dump that edges and then we are Keep the rest of your egg because you're going to do the tops once you've got them on. The reason you do just around the edges of the bottoms is so that you can seal them. So you're going to put the top on gently and then just push them together with your fingers very gently. I'll just repeat this process for all the all 12. Just very gently. You might find that one or two will come undone, but they're okay. The size of your tray that you're using depends on what size you can cut for the bottoms. You can always, if you've got a tray that has bigger ones, then you can do a bigger cutter for bottom and say something like that size for your tops. But I use that for the bottoms and this one, the smaller one for the tops. And I always hold it at one side until you've crimped that bit and then swap hands. They don't have to be perfect. Sometimes I do tend to put a little bit too much mincemeat in, but hmm. now you can wash the tops of them with the, put the egg wash on. But just before you do that, 
make a tiny little hole in each one. This will help let some steam out. You don't have to put a big hole in them. Now we're going to use our egg again to go over the tops. As I say, you can use milk if you prefer to use milk. I prefer egg because it gives them a, a nicer colour when they come out. And these are duck eggs that I'm using at the moment. I just had my friend's ducks. I always use a silicone pastry brush. They're more hygienic than other types. Right, now these are ready now to go into a hot oven, as I said, about 220 to 230 degrees on electric, or roughly about gas mark 7, 8 in on your gas. They don't have any sugar. I don't like over sweet mince pies, so you don't need to put sugar on them. The mince meat itself is sweet enough. And I, I always use short crust pastry. But they're now ready to go in the oven. Now I'm going to put these in on the, put them on the middle shelf of your oven. Put them in nice and gentle. And they take roughly 15 minutes. And then they're done. So I will have a little break now and have a cup of tea. And I'll show you when they're done. Well, right. unfortunately, these have come out very dark. And they shouldn't have. They should have been nice, light, golden colour. But... This bloody oven is crap. It needs getting rid of and a new one. Because I did them at the right temperature. They, were, they are still edible, don't, don't worry about that. What you need to do then, if yours turn out the right colour, then let them sit in your tray till they are cool. Otherwise, you'll have a problem getting them out. I might still have a problem when these are cool getting these out because one or two have leaked. But if you let them cool then you should be able to get them out of the tray without a problem. Um, I've got another six to go in out of that eight ounce of pastry. So I'm getting 18 out of it. It does say you can get up to 20, but um, I think 18 is about right. If I were you, I wouldn't put them on such a high heat. I'd take it to, that's my, down to six bloody things horrendous. But yeah, put them in on gas mark 6 or 200 on an electric. 180 if it's a fan oven. And I would check them after 10 minutes because if they're ready, then you can take them out. If I'd checked these on 10 minutes, I'd have caught them straight away before they got too dark. Time to um, get a new oven and give this one the boot, definitely. Out to the dustbin men or wherever. Tip, sorry, dustbin men don't take that sort of thing anymore. They won't go to waste. <laughs> so the other six are getting done on a lower heat. So for now, till they've cooled, I can't do anything. But once again, I apologise for the colour they are. They're a bit darker than normal, but their bums are perfectly okay. Yeah, they're still edible. I just had one. They're rather yeah, nice. Yeah, the mince and everything is beautiful. And they've no burnt taste to them. They're just that little bit deeper colour. And that also could be not only the oven, but the fact that I use duck egg. Ah, right, yeah. To, uh, it's also the mincemeat inside is lovely and strong, which are uh, oh, yeah, with these ones it's going to be even stronger, isn't it? Um, uh, yes, because somebody not far away from me wanted rum in them. I actually had already put my tops on and everything and made my little holes, and I thought, oops, I haven't put the rum in, so I had to get I have some little pipettes mm. used for feeding baby animals when they're small, um, if they can't feed properly, and just popped it the pipette end through the hole and just squeezed a bit of rum into each of those. So we'll see what happens when these come out, but I will be checking them after 10 minutes. Well, as you can see, if you compare one of these that's just come out to one of these that came out earlier, <laughs> that's the colour they should be. I didn't actually put quite as much mincemeat in this last six. I would, in future, if you're doing them, don't do them at gas mark, uh, gas mark seven or eight. I would stick to doing them like I've done these last six, on 200 and electric or gas mark six and that's after 15 minutes and they're ready so i should be making room on this plate for these very alcoholic ones mm -hmm. with uh, rum inside them <clears throat> i think i put a bit more in these now these oh, right. ridiculous. very nice though so thank you very much for watching give it a thumbs up if you want to ask any questions please do comment sit down below so if you want to leave me one please do bye for now